This week on Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create this dual triangle KPI. Now, this tip is from Ann Jackson from the Data 19 conference where she did speed tipping with myself. Um, so, I just thought I would share it with you all with just an added um, bonus to it to make you be able to hover over both the profit and the sales. So, this chart is showing profit in the bottom triangle and sales in the top triangle so you have a glimpse of both at a quick view. So how do we do this? So the first way that we do this is we try and bring on our sales and our profit as measure names and measure values and then we drag in subcategory and then we move measure names to the detail, change this to shape measure names on shape and then put measure values on color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use separate legends so that we get those different um, color options and I'm just going to edit these colors I'm just going to change this one to purple and then I'm going to edit this one to be uh, use full color range it just gives it a bit brighter and then we're just going to go to the average of zero. Now when I do this I can then go into my shapes palette and if I go down to my KPI folder, which is where I've previously put in some shapes so you can get these off the internet, I'm going to go sales is the top triangle, profit is the bottom triangle, hit OK. And now you can see that we have both of our shapes in here. We can make these a little bit bigger so that you can see them all. But if you notice, I can't hover over my sales um, triangle to see what the sales value is. So the way... I have just got around this is what we can do is the average of 0.002 and then also the average of minus 0.002. Now yes it looks silly but you will get there in a minute. So if we go to subcategory add that in and what I want to do is I want to dual axis these and we're going to synchronize them but we're going to edit the axis to be fixed at minus one and fixed at one. So they come together quite nicely. And again, what we can do here is we just change the shape of these. So we want this top one to be profit. So I'm gonna uh, change this to the bottom triangle. And then we're gonna change this one to be the top triangle, like so. And then we're just going to put sales on colour and also we're going to put set up profit on colour onto the other legend. So again, we're just going to hit entire view. We're going to make sure both shapes are big enough. Um, and we seem to have a slight overlap on our shapes. So we want to just reduce them down a little bit. And it's still not 100% right. So let's go to 0 0.001, 0 0.001. So now, again, they don't fully allow you to hover over which one. Let me just change sales to a color that we know. Hit OK. So now, if I edit these tool tips so that they're not both the same and take those off and edit this tool tip, take that off and untick those, hit OK. Now you can see that I can hover over profit, which is the bottom one, and sales, which is the top one. Now you just have to play around with the sizes a little bit to get them right, but I think we have it. So we have profit and sales. That's it for this week. All the best for 2020 and see you soon.